How's it going, everybody? So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the following. You know, there's a well-known principle in halacha called osik the mitzvah, patram and a mitzvah. If I'm in the middle of doing a mitzvah already, and another mitzvah opportunity comes my way, I don't have to stop to do that second mitzvah. After all, I'm already doing a mitzvah. And as such, since I'm osik the mitzvah, I'm patr, I'm exempt from that second mitzvah. There is a fundamental debate as to whether or not that principle applies in a scenario where I could do them both. Tosos is of the opinion that if I were to stop the mitzvah that I was already doing to accommodate that second mitzvah, and I can just as easily then return to finish that first mitzvah, I'm obligated to do that. Why should it be that you're putter from a mitzvah just because you're doing mitzvah A, if you can end up doing both mitzvahs A and B? So according to Tosos, if it's if you could do both the mitzvahs, we don't apply this principle. We don't say, since you're osik in the first mitzvah, you're patah from the second, if you could do both. That's the opinion of Tosos. That's very, that's very logical. The Ritzvah, however, disagrees and is of the opinion that no, even if you can pull them both off, you could stop mitzvah A to do mitzvah B, and you could return to mitzvah A and finish it later. It doesn't matter. Since you're osik in mitzvah A, you are patah from that second mitzvah, don't stop what you're doing. Make sure you finish that mitzvah and you give it your all. Because right now, when you're osig in that mitzvah, the second mitzvah is irrelevant. It's not meant to even register on your radar. And, it, and putting aside the question of whether we paskin like the ritva or like tosvos, even if logically we could understand where tosvos is coming from, if you could accommodate both mitzvahs, shouldn't you? Perhaps the logic of the ritva is rather compelling, and especially if we apply it to many, many contemporary circumstances. The Ritzvah's opinion seems to be based on something so critical, and that is, when you're doing a mitzvah, or anything at all, whatever that is, if it's something which you have to do, something which you are meant to do, give it your undivided attention. I don't know how hard it has become to give anything your undivided attention, considering the distractions, whether it's with the phone, the very phone that we're using right now to record and perhaps to watch this particular shear. Granted, for such a thing, it's kavaldic. But we also know that it's a very, very, very distracting tool, as many other things as well, that distract us. It makes it difficult for us to just get anything, your complete attention. If in the realm of a mitzvah that you're in the middle of doing, the mitzvah will tell you, you cannot stop. Don't even think about trying to chap that other mitzvah also. No, just do the mitzvah you're in the middle of doing now. That tells you something so critical about how we need to be able to give something our complete focus. Whether it's a mitzvah or whether it's something which you have to do again, it could be a job. Whatever the task at hand is, give it your all. Stop trying so difficult, you know, stop trying so hard to chab every single thing. Because when you do that, when you're trying to do, accommodate so many different things, trying to complete so many tasks at once, you end up not really completing any of them. So according to the Ritva, what, you, what emerges is such an important adraka for life. Whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you're doing, it could be learning, it could be teaching, it could be a job. If you're on the clock and you have a task to do, make sure that that is what you're doing and you're giving it your undivided attention. You're giving it all your kochos. And with that, Bezad Hashem, you realize that each mitzvah you do is so much qualitatively satisfying because instead of being so concerned and worried about what else I have to do here and there, just focus on the task at hand. Ain the dayon, elamasha ain of rose, just like a judge is only meant to judge based on the situation that's right in front of him, so to all of us. Focus on the mitzvah at hand. And remember, osik the mitzvah, patr min mitzvah. Don't worry about that other thing. Focus on what's right in front of you. All right, everybody, have an amazing, amazing summer.